Alright guys, welcome to the Toy Box Magia Dark Magician Profile. This deck is kind of insane. We've been working out the kinks on the ladder with the big chat. They've been suggesting lots of cool things. Uh, let's go through the cards. We've got one Dark Magician, Triple Souls, Triple Max C, and two Rod. The DM Engine's not really doing too much this uh, list. All you really care about is your souls. So Triple Souls, Triple Illusion of Chaos, and Triple Prep. Because nine ways to souls means your toy box engine is hopefully, you know, in your hand as well. Um, Maxi, you're going to draw your cards and bait your opponent to end their turn early. Ash Blossom, generic, it, hopefully you draw it off your Maxi. Um, toy box engine cards are all around here scattered, so we've got one soldier. You can normal it if you want. I might actually go to two soldiers soon because it's pretty good. Um, and also, if you do open one, you can then summon, uh, set the one from the deck. If you, you know, s normal summon this search toy box. In toy box set the other soldier so that might be a change i make soon um barrier statue which you're going to search off your soldier search uh, if you don't want ecclesia so there's two options you can go ecclesia you can go barrier statue um toy tank which you know, is part of the toy box engine you have to play at least one um then we've got the dogmatica package continued which is going to be one fleur one maximus because um maximus and nadir can get you to illusion chaos as well Illusion Chaos obviously gets you to souls. So we've kind of got even more copies of Magician Souls in this build. Because it's it's very important in this build specifically to have Illusion of Chaos. Like, it's super important. Um, so anyway, we've gone over everything here. So we're up to Nadir. Now Nadir will send Garura and then add Maximus 90% of the time. Unless you want Ecclesia. But the reason you'll do that is because then you can banish, uh, draw one and then banish Garura. Summon Maximus. Send Herald. Send Blue Eyes. And what that's going to let you do is search Illusion of Chaos, which you need to make Magia. Um, from there, you can just go into Anaconda. Oh, no, you can't because you're locked out of the extra deck. I lied. <laughs> well, it hasn't come up yet, but if you do hard open Ultimate Fusion and Nadir, you can set Ultimate Fusion and do the play I just said, and then on the opponent's turn, flip this in the main phase and make Magia. But a lot of the times, you're going to be making Magia without Nadir. It's kind of just there as a safety net if you get hand-trapped along the way. Um, but yeah, it's, it's still good because obviously toy box illusion chaos stuff still good. And, um, you can just set up dogmatica punishment stuff, which isn't too bad when you kind of do nothing, uh, you know, you get hand trapped or whatever. Uh, one tactics because the draw two is crazy. Um, and you'll get hand trapped. So yeah, it's good. Fusion armament, armament, uh, I can't talk fusion armament. You need to open this, which is why this deck feels a bit rough. Um, but you draw a lot with Toy Box and Magician Souls, you'll be sending two, drawing two, Tactics can draw you two. There's a lot of deck thinning going on as well with Prep, Illusion of Chaos, blah, 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 blah. Um, Maxi will also, you know, just make you get there too, which is kind of silly. So you do see it more than you think you would, which is kind of weird. But yeah, it's kind of the best one we can play. All this card does is summon Blue Eyes Ultimate. So at the bare minimum, this is an extender to make Link plays. Because the Blue Eyes Ultimate, like, this card doesn't lock you out of other summons, like Fusion uh, Deployment does. Armament just says the monster can't attack and has no effect, which, like, it, 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 we don't care. So you normally summon the Blue Eyes Ultimate, and you're going to link it away in your main combo to make IP. But then you link away the Toy Box cards and Souls to make Aconda. And then you're able to send Ultimate Fusion off Anaconda. And you just have to have an Illusion of Chaos in your hand or Grave. And then, bam, you can summon Magia. And it does work out quite a bit. Like, that's why we have nine wins, right? Um, which is cool. Um, one Salvation to go with the One Eternal Soul. Triple Toy Box, because yeah, Engine good. Uh, one Circle and two Soul Servant, because this is good and can still get you to your Illusion of Chaos once again. Um, so yeah, seeing this in Magician Souls is really good still, so you gotta play it. Uh, only one Brick being the DM, so just playing two Soul Servant is pretty safe. One Ultimate Fusion is the Brick you have to play. Uh, but it, it's not a brick if you open Nadir, which is weird. But yeah, Nadir's only a two, sadly. But anyway. Punishment. Um, because, you know, it's the Nadir kind of Dogmatica card. You can play Schism instead, but I thought I'd play a more generic card. Um, just in case I brick on it, you know. We've already got some bricks in here, so I thought it's a bit safer. And yeah, one Eternal Soul, which we've already touched on. Um, the DM cards here are kind of your backup play. You're really just trying to go for... Uh, Souls Toy Box Shenanigans, and if you get negated on the way, you can fall back on things like the DM Engine, the Nadir Engine. Uh, Anaconda doesn't do anything in this deck unless you open Fusion Armament, really, so it's a bit of a bait, but you can still just make IP kind of thing, so it, it's okay. Um, extra deck, one Eld Entity because popping's good, one Garura because it's easily one of the best Nadir sends. 
Uh, one Blue Eyes Ultimate because it's your Fusion Armament send, but you can also send it off Maximus if you go that route as well. Um, Magia, he's the star of the deck. We have no Dragoon in Master Duel. This is the Dragoon. It, it has three negates, and it's 5,000 attack. It's, it's kind of insane. Uh, it can float into something. We're not playing anything it can float into, just so you know. Um, it hasn't come up. It hasn't been destroyed yet. Like, we've just negated stuff and won. Um, so it's cool. Uh, next, Herald, because when you do do the Maximus play, you can send the Herald and search Illusion of Chaos, which is pretty important in this deck, as I've mentioned. Um, I'm Duck, which we've just added uh, in place of Appalooza, which you can also play, but Appalooza you summon is normally going to be only two material, which it's kind of whatever. Um, anyway, I'm Duck, so you can link away your DM and do those plays if you want. Uh, you could play Link Spider as well. I, I guess technically Link Spider's better because it's got more attack. There's, there's no secrets or anything to fuse with, so you don't really need a dragon. Just we'll play Link Spider. Um, Anima, because we're summoning Magician Souls to send, so we're going to have a soul sitting on the field half the time anyway. Um, I, I haven't got Chaos Angel in here, which I was thinking about in that last game, but... You could add that in if you wanted, but, uh, you know, with the, the DM cards aren't really the focus here, so I didn't put it in, but it's definitely an option you could do instead of, say, um, I don't know, the extra deck's a little tight. I guess instead of Anima, you could do that, but I think Anima's a bit safer, because we'll be summoning Souls a lot more, and if Chaos Angel, you need to summon DM and Normal Rod, so if we're summoning Souls a lot in this build, that's not going to come up as much, so I think Anima's the better choice, actually. Um, Artemis, because if you normal rod or souls and you need to access Nadir stuff and you want to be able to extend with Ecclesia, you need an extra deck monster. So you can turn souls or rod into Artemis and boom, you can start comboing. Um, IP, because we're playing SP, so it's good going first if you do nothing else. Also good with the board with Toy Box. Toy Box sets up IP and Anaconda, which is kind of nuts. Um, so yeah, if you have a normal summon, which you can search off um, Soldier, so it's quite good. Um, we've also got the Dark Selene access code package, which is pretty standard in a lot of DM stuff. And the Avramax, because as I mentioned, we end our board on IP and Anaconda. So on the opponent's turn, you can just happily go, cool, IP into um, a cup. No, IP into Avramax. And you're going to be doing that under the barrier statue sometimes, which is insane, because Avramax is a light, so it's all good. Maggie is also a light, so just saying, your combo... If you open Cracked, is going to have IP, Anaconda, Barrier Statue, Magia on the field. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Um, but yeah. That's the end of the profile. I'm just going to check chat if I missed anything. Magia can summon Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon though, right? Oh, yeah. Um, does that work? Because we didn't technically summon it properly though. Like, it's always going to be in our grave. Oh, wait, no. Ultimate Fusion shuffles back. Yo, you're right. Harry Senpai is right. Okay, so Magia's float will actually float into this, which is pretty good. And fuse IOC with Magia. And fuse IOC with Magia. You mean with Blue Eyes Ultimate? Oh, yeah, okay. That makes sense. Oh, that's true. That is true. Huh. That cuts out the Anaconda middleman. But it means we have to play Tamias. Hmm. Interesting. No, you're totally right. Hmm. Is it worth playing Tomias? Pardon me. I guess opening Illusion of Chaos Soul Servant is also that combo. Pretty good. Hmm. Hey Zelda, what's up? The stream is going quite good. Just theory crafting something else to add to this list. If I play Tomias and add another brick to the list though, you know that's the ultimate choice. Anaconda is so safe because it's extra deck. But we need an extender then. So, uh, another soldier. I think we'd rather soldier than rod, right guys? Like we can recycle rod anyway and we can, we can soul servant it back if we really have to. He'll be cooking based. I think I'm going to try the two toy soldier. But yeah, if you find a combo to get there that's better than what we're doing now, definitely let me know. Let me know. I don't think we lost a game where Magia was on the field, which is pretty hilarious. Everyone, you are epic. Thank you for supporting me and allowing me to make content. There is seriously nothing better. 
I was, I'm gonna do this anyway, it's my hobby, but you guys make it even more worth it. And you push me to persevere with this deck. But sometimes it's really hard to play this deck, and I'm sure you guys feel that too. Sometimes you just want to give up and play a good deck. I kept you up till 7am, I'm so sorry, Poey. Well, I hope you get a good rest right now. Can I make a deck with Magia and Dragoon? Oh, I could try. That It probably wouldn't quite work. But you could probably definitely get to one of them, but probably not the other in the same turn. So I guess if you used Blue Eyes Ultimate and the ritual that... Oh no, because Ultimate Fusion shuffles back. I don't know. I could try to cook something, but it, it'd be a mess. It'd be a mess trying to get both out. But it would be pretty cool. It'd be pretty cool. But yes, once again, thank you for allowing me to do exactly what I love. You guys are awesome. So yeah, have a great night or day, wherever you are. And um, so go and watch the new upload. It's a new deck roast. And the, the guy who I roasted DM'd me actually and said he really enjoyed the video. So it was awesome to hear from him too. And yeah, hopefully Zelda gets their video done and we can make a roast of that one too. But yeah, you guys are epic. Put some hearts in the chat because we're, we're cute like that. Thanks, everybody. Have a wonderful time. Um, yeah. Peace.